Right now at 6, education expansion in Jacksonville. The University of Florida has chosen the location for its new grad school campus. That location is near the Pime Osborne Convention Center in La Villa. The graduate campus will offer courses in artificial intelligence and technology. The school's board of trustees made the selection today and the committee gave it a unanimous nod with a final vote scheduled for tomorrow. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell joins us now. She has a new insight tonight about the location and what it means for the community. Ann? Hey, good evening, Ashley and Ken. So this is the area they want to put it. Oh. It was just up a second ago, but it's around the Prime Osborne Center in the La Villa neighborhood. As you mentioned, it was identified as the best location for the campus. It's to the west of downtown, north of Brooklyn. The mayor's office says the city is working to provide 22 buildable acres for this site, and they're expecting work on the project to begin as soon as possible in 2025. The UF Satellite Campus focused on a workforce of the future on track to transform Jacksonville's future. With a projected enrollment of up to 1,000 students working on programs and fields such as business, AI, engineering, data analytics, cybersecurity, law, architecture, and biomedical and health science. UF says a Florida Semiconductor Institute focusing on the development of semiconductors we depend on to power electronics is also coming to Jacksonville. The, the economic impact of that alone is over $100 million. So I am over the moon thrilled about this partnership, and I think you're, you're not going to recognize uh, this downtown. The campus will be built out over time on parcels of vacant city-owned property surrounding the city-owned Prime Osborne Convention Center. So think of uh, downtown as bookmark, bookended by the UF campus on the west side and this stadium and the, and the related projects on the east side of town. The city has pledged 22 acres plus $100 million toward the project. City Council has already committed half of that. The total projected project cost is about $300 million. On the west side, it directly abuts Interstate 95, highly visible to 165,000 vehicles per day on average, and offering easy access to get on and off the campus. <clears throat> It's adjacent to local and regional bus stations and the Skyway, an elevated monorail sy system in the city. And at the heart of the site is the city's historic train station. The city hopes to see the return of passenger rail to this station in the years to come. The site is also close to healthcare infrastructure and businesses the campus hopes to partner with, as well as the defense industry, which UF hopes will be the primary customer of a research center focused on national security. The full UF Board of Trustees will vote on this proposed, proposed location tomorrow. The first pieces of land, circle here on blue, will go through the DIA um, city process in January for approval. The additional $50 million in city funding is set to go through the budget process for city council approval.